the way over there. Oh, I can't see you. Chat, I can't see you. Hold on. Where have you gone? Let's get you up. There we go. There's chat. Hi, chat. How's everyone doing today? Oh, Callum, I see you there with the 11 months, Callum. Callum, have you known, have you known me for 11 months, Callum? That is, you are ridiculous. You are a ridiculous, ridiculous man. A ridiculous big old sexy man, for sure. How are you all, by the way, chat? How are you all doing? Are you all happy? Are you all having a good vibe? It's vibe night, guys. And when I say it's vibe night, I mean it, man. It's a vibe night tonight, you know? Uh, let's read out some of the old, some of the old resubs going on. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Uh, we've got loads of lovely resubs coming in, uh, from people like Little Grey 12 with the seven months. We have, uh, Leo Phelps with the nine months. We've got, any bubba-buzz in the chat? We've got, BBNX with the seven months. Nice to see you, BBNX. We've got, uh, Zoe the Loser with the nine months. Uh, oh, there's so many. <laughs> Callum with the 11 months. Uh, Grace Book 19 with the 16 months. That's incredible. I didn't even know I've been alive for 16 months. Echo Birth? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm on the... Sorry. <laughs> I've had my fucking mic effects on. Oh, thank you for the gifted subs. Whoever did that. Oh, my God. Everything's coming at me so far. I'm the worst streamer in the world, dude. I am, like, genuinely the worst streamer. Uh... Whoever gifted me the subs, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't come up on my thing. I need to speak with Phil. Phil will show me how to do it. Bridget Brigade, thank you for the $30. Hi, it was my birthday the other day. Can I get a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Bridget Brigade. I hope you've had a great day. Let's put on some music. How are you all? It's chill stream time. I know. There's been I've had so many chill streams recently. It's been a chill stream kind of kind of month. You know what I mean, chat? I'm sure you will get what I mean. We've come to the end of the worst year ever. <laughs> You know, it feels like it's only right that we just end it with just a bunch of chill times, you know. Space Crow with the twenty dollars. Hey Wilbur, I was wondering if you give my friend Caitlin some advice on learning to play Saline Solution. I can I can do a little Saline Solution tutorial if you guys would want that. Would you guys want that chat? What are you doing for Christmas, Will? Uh nothing. I'm not doing anything for Christmas. I'm I'm staying indoors. Just like we're told to. Just like we must. I'm staying inside. Uh and, and staring at a wall. Probably. <laughs> yes, we want that. Yeah, okay. It's not very hard to play. It's just it's just a bit of tapping. As long as you can get the tapping right. I watched a tutorial of someone teaching people how to play Sailing Solution on YouTube the other day. And they didn't tune... So what they was, they tuned the... Because you got to tune the low E down to a low C, right? And they tuned it to the low C and then they put it on Capo 5. And then they started playing it and you got to retune it onto the Capo. I was like, I was like, my God, my God, man. How are you supposed to, how are people supposed to learn in these conditions? Since I saw Vienna, since I saw Vienna, it's very easy to play. You could, I could show you that. I can show you that right now, ready? Get your guitar, right? A minor seventh shape, A string, pluck the, pluck the D and the B string and hammer on your middle finger. And then press the G string. Repeat. And then the E string. Same thing on C. work coming down on the G but the G you've got like third fret on the A string and then F major seventh you know it's it's a it's a simple boy and then it's just repeat like that that's it am I ghost but everyone's shouting ghost at me am I am I ghost right now dude did you enjoy my new video today I am a big fan of it it's 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 performed really badly but I'm such a fan of it I'm so proud of it dude it's like I thought it was so funny. It's a new editor, and he did a really he did he nailed it. He did such a good job with it. I hope you I hope you're all a big fan of it. And I got sponsored by Rocket League. How cool is that? The actual Rocket League sponsored me. But the only thing, chat. I need my. Do I have my fucking? Do I have my? No, I don't. I'll be right back. Do I, I don't have my 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 this camera isn't in the right spot, so I can't do my I can't do my up above thing that I usually do. You know. But chat, 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 chat. Hold on, I can probably get it set up. Hold on, should we get it set up right now, chat, before we carry on? Before I complain at you guys for my bad genetics. That's what I'm about to. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this. 
we're streaming right now ladies and gents this is streaming oh that's a good sign oh we're streaming guys guys we're streaming right now we're streaming okay hold on we gotta we gotta set it up pretty sure it's like that is it like that is that how i have it and then i sit here and go i think so i think this is right yeah <laughs> i think that's right we're streaming now oh this is pod racing this is this is pod streaming uh right so if you've seen my new video you've probably or you probably know what i'm about to say you know where i'm going with this chat it's this huh it's this bullshit here you see that look it goes further see that see that bullshit chat bald burr i had my hair like this right i had my hair like this in the video that's this is my forehead yeah this is how I've always been. You can look at pi you can look at pictures of me when I was 12, when I was 13. Genetically, this is how I've always been. I've always had this, right? And I love it. I, I literally, it's like everyone. Okay, so so if you've ever watched my videos and you've liked my hair, right? And I get a lot of people asking me, Will, how do you do your hair? The reason I do my hair like it is, is because of this forehead. I cover it up like that to sort of frame my face better, right? Because it, it would look, if I shaved it all off, I'd look fine. But the fact I've got hair means I have to push it over the fringe, right? But the problem is, the problem is, chat. The problem is, chat. People, oh god, that's too, that's aimed too high up. Chat, and you see my socks. Chat, people don't like me. Don't like forehead burr. People don't like forehead burr, dude. I like someone in the chat just went, it looks great. <laughs> It looks great. Well, <laughs> thank you. If you actually think Mega Mind, yeah, exactly. It's Mega Mind, dude. But the thing is, I I've come to terms with it. I quite enjoy it. I think because like the reason it's I have my hair like it is is because of my forehead. You know, I can have this floppy fringe because my hair is like all the way fucking back here or some shit. <laughs> I have to peanut. Thank you for the five gifted subs. So I have to have it really far back. So I have to have my forehead right. But the thing is, the thing is. All my comments section is it? Hold on, I'll try and bring up my comments. Should I bring up my comments? I want to make a point here, chat. I want to make a point. I want you to imagine right now that little Wilbur, little Wilbur, let's say little Wilbur's uncomfortable, right? With his, with his, um, with his predicament, right? I want you to imagine that. Okay, how do I, how do I show my screen without fucking revealing all of my secrets? Because as you know, I've always got my secrets on show. Uh... Oh, that's my Streamlabs. See, this is what I mean. Uh, got Firefox. Do I want Firefox? Yeah, Firefox. There we go. Right. So, we've got a new editor. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, so we've got one. One there. One there. How about we'll give them all hearts, right? The forehead. Yep, that's one. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we keep going. Forehead. Forehead, full capitals. Uh, here we go. Keep going. Uh, why does upside down Wilbur look really young? Wilbur's hair is looking strange today. There's another one. Uh... Where did his massive forehead come from? My mother. My mother did this to me. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep going. Uh, Wilbur, do we rock in that seven head? In fact, oh, I'm not gonna click on it. We'll show you how much I'm in. So look, we keep going. Uh, Wilbur, why are your forehead so big? We've got another one there. Uh, he looks so British. That could be to do with the forehead. Why his head look flat in the thumbnail? I don't know what that's got to do. I love your hair. I wish I had my hair like that. Dude, that's so kind of you. That's so kind of you compared to if we go down a little bit. Dude, what happened to your hairline? <laughs> it's the next... See what I mean? We just keep going. And I, and I mean you. Look, if we, if we search forehead on here, right? Chat. Oh, these are all people on the stream. Look, from here, from here, right? Just take it in. Just take it in, dude. Just take it all in. Take it all in, chat. You you feeling it? You vibing? You enjoying this? Well, okay. So we've just scrolled all that, and we're back to we're back to a couple minutes ago now, right? So these are people that came on before the stream, right? These are 
These are people that aren't watching the stream right now posted these. I'm gonna, it keeps going, chat. Chat, this video has been out for six hours. And we're only... Oh, my... Shave the forehead, please. Did Wilbur's forehead get bigger? <laughs> uh, and chat, I am... I'm miffed. I'm mega fuming, chat. I'm pissed, right? I'm quitting YouTube forever. Because you lot have been mean to me. I'm quitting YouTube. No, you know what? It's time. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Yeah. Hi, it's me, Will Bass. I'm the bassist known as Wilbur's. <laughs> Wait, we go further. Ah, oh, there we go. That's that's how we want it. So this is how we're gonna do the stream tonight, chat. We're gonna <laughs> whilst having a mental breakdown. Apparently, no, I'm fine. I'm 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 playing. I realized upon picking up the bass and pushing my hair all the way back that it does seem like I'm having a mental breakdown. I promise you, I'm fine, chat. It's all for fun. Oh, uh, like I said. I've had my hairline like this since I was about six, about nine, ten years old. So I'm, I'm far gone used to the bullying. <laughs> you don't have to worry. It's quackity. I'm quackity, guys. <laughs> Look, it's like barely hanging on. That's how far back it goes. Oh, let's get this bit back to normal. Woo! Got to keep my brand image. There we go. I am scared, but it's fine. No, you've made it worse. <laughs> Why does he remind me of Eret? Because uh, I'm British and have brown floppy hair, probably. Eret's lovely. Uh, Jojo Siwa, Mega Mind. You could, dude. I, I this was the for all of you. I know a lot of you have never watched Soot House before. When I was part of Soot House, this was like the running joke. Some of you probably remember this. The running joke amongst all of my friends is that I have like the worst hairline in the world. That's like always been the running joke. Anyway. At least it's not spotty. That's why I say it. So I have a very clean forehead. I I, I exfoliate and I keep it all very because I'm a, I'm I'm naturally quite greasy skin when I don't you know use my skincare. So yeah, I, uh, I I've, I'm happy that I'm able to keep it unspotty. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you for the sub, Burb, Casper, Joanne. Do you guys like the uh, oh wrong way? Do you guys like the uh, uh, the alerts coming up on the screen? I'm a big fan. Oh! Queen Iridosa Clytus with $100. Exceptional shenanigans. Queen Iridosa Clytus, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, Queen, welcome back. And what a way to come back. Holy shit. Thank you for the $100, dude. And if we go back enough, we've got Pink Charpy with the $20. I have a seven hour shift starting in an hour. Rip. Love working retails four, before, four days before Christmas and starting to shift at midday. Pog Champ. Listen. Pink Charpy, I have fucking been there. Oh my God, I used to work Christmas every year. Because right, chat, I don't know if you know this, but you can probably tell. <laughs> but I I was the I was the fucking the fucking little piss boy, right? I was just always shoved down into the fucking So basically I used to work the till at my old job, right? So I used to work on the fucking till, like the cashier, the cash register for Americans. And um and because they didn't want me on the shop floor because then they'd have to talk to me so they used to put me on the channel what i used to do was i used to sit there and i used to have a, i used to print out a receipt have a pen i used to write up chord progressions because i was learning to play the guitar at the time and i was and i would just stand there all day and because they fucking hated me i was put on christmas every fucking year every year and i remember i remember christmas the in that right now about now i'm not sure if it's the same this year but about now it was always shit on like the 20th of december i worked christmas eve night so i worked they wouldn't allow you to work onto christmas day at my old job but i worked christmas eve nights and what it was oh the lost Shall so studio same with the five gifted subs I worked nights uh, on Christmas Eve and I had to we had to clock off at 9 p.m. which was weird because I normally went into the morning and we clocked off at 9 p.m. right and I remember on Christmas Eve in the last moments somehow every fucking person wanted to buy things at fucking 
We'd shut the doors. We'd lock the doors only for... Excuse me, are you closed? Are you closed? Yes, we're closed. Oh, but I need my turkey for tomorrow. You can ruin Christmas. Well, you should have fucking bought it sooner, Karen. Holy shit, man. I would... I, oh. Yeah, I've gone off on a tangent. I hope you do okay, Pink Sharpie. Good luck on your work. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Chyna, thank you for this one. Hi, Will, but loving the stream. You're such a funny dude. Could you say hi to my friend Ar Ar Aaron? Or Aaron? I know it would make her Christmas. Um, A. Aaron. <laughs> hi. I can't pronounce your name, so I'm going to purposefully get it wrong. Because a, a wrong clock is right twice. So that's not how that saying goes, is it? That's really not how that saying goes. Hi, Will, but you're such a big inspiration to me to start streaming. Thank you, Statlix. Uh, thanks so much for that. Also, thank you for being an older brother figure to me. Older brother. I'm everyone's older brother, despite being an, an only child by blood. I have step siblings, but I'm an only child by blood. In a Parzival, thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Play Fortnite, says I'm Fatal Games. No, says Wilbur, sir. Uh, I don't- I've never played Fortnite. I like Battle Royales, though. I don't know why I'm so averse to playing Fortnite. I think it's just out of precedent now, you know? Unlike TikTok, because I was off TikTok out of precedent, but I think now we've reached a point where I- I can't escape TikTok. I'm like, right, fuck it. I'm on TikTok now, you know? But I still haven't gotten over Fortnite. It's kind of dead, though, isn't it? That's what McCreamy says, anyway. Uh, Pink Choppy, thank you for the $20 again. Oh, yeah, and I'm rostered on all day Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. I was also Boxing Day. It's not only Australian. It's here as well. I was also Boxing Day. Boxing Day was better than Christmas Eve. Boxing Day was better than Christmas Eve by far. Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Selling chocolate during the holidays is wonderful, says Birdie Ann. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we shit on retail a lot, don't we, in this stream? I think I always shit on retail, but it's it's fun. Retail can be good if you're with a good bunch of people and, you know, which I was not. But if you are, it's like a lot of fun. Mariah Handler, I think it's $30. Hey, well, but me and my friends Atlas love you with all of our hearts. You are our support streamer. Can you say hello to Mariah and Atlas? Hello, Mariah and Atlas. Uh, Swim fellow, I think it's $20. Hello, Ben. I know that I'm donating to Wilbur, but I just wanted to say hi to Ben, who is watching the stream. How are you, Ben? I'm not your fucking... I'm not your... You're using me. You're using me, aren't you? Look at this fidget spinner I have, chat. Oh, shit, fidget spinner. It's like, I got it online, right? And it's like this... It's like this metal shit, right? And it's like a magnet. Like that, see? It's fucking... And, and it's like... And like you can't actually spin it. It's like you have to you have to like wobble it like that. I mate, I love fidget toys, by the way. <laughs> I that's fun fact about me. I fucking I just my desk is just covered. And I'll tell you what, best best fidget toy. If you're into fidget toys and you haven't tried this yet, get a fucking yo-yo. Go on Amazon and get one of these bad boys. Woo! Woo! Oh, I cannot, I cannot tell you how fucking good yo-yos are, man. Oh my God, they're the best. They are the best. Get yo-yos. Everyone get yo-yos, dude. I also have one of these shits. <laughs> I don't know what they are. They're like, um, you like hold them and you like flick them or something. It's like that you're supposed to like, they're, okay, I, okay, I'll chat. I must confess. I've been a victim of a marketing strategy. <laughs> Okay, that'll stay down there. Uh, I was fit. I, I was on fucking Twitter, and I saw someone playing with these, right? And I was like, "Oh, that they look so cool! Like they look like they're like skillful and shit. Like they were like going like, they were like with them, right? And I was like, "Holy shit, that's so cool!" So I got these. What? Anyone in chat know what they're called? Anyone in chat know what they're called? Uh, no, no one in chat. Shoelaces? No, I don't think that's shoelaces. But I was like. I was like, hey, that's so cool. So I was like, I'm going to get them. So I bought them. And I was like, and I was, I was like, yeah, slingers. I don't, thumb chucks. I've never, these aren't what they're called. Thank you for the five Eve Street. Big Larry, Big, Big Larry? Big, it sounds kind of Italian. Beleg, Belegri, something like that. It was, it, they're, they're like, they're, it's Big Larry. That's the one. Who the fuck? Someone in chat. Someone in chat was like, my time has come. Some fucking Beglary master. <laughs> Some fucking Beglary master in my chat was like, holy shit, holy shit. 
I know this. <laughs> and they were just like freaking the fuck out. Like, I know Baglary. Yeah, I got them and I was like, woo. I was like, woo with them. And it fucking like just bruises my hand and I just haven't used them. They're shit. Cause I'm not, cause I wasn't instantly good at them. So they're shit and I hate them because of that. <laughs> hand fed, he's only the $1. Hi, well, I'm glad you're well. I, could you say hi to honey? Pronounce honey. We'll make a day. Hello, honey. Hello, Wilbur. I'm watching your stream and I legit have hypothyroidism and have a shit hairline that people make fun of me for. Same. Pog. <laughs> uh, I'm quite good at styling it though, but yeah, I feel for you. Also, I love your music. It really helped. That's all. Thank you. Simeon is here. Thank you for the 10. Yeah, any hypothyroid boys in the chat? Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I, I, I live with it. It doesn't make... The thing is, my hair's really thick. I have like proper thick hair, right? It's just it's just a shit hairline and it has been for years. So, <laughs> but I guess I got lucky with the thick hair. Uh, Koi, thank you for the $20. You mentioned skincare earlier. What's the Wilbur skincare routine? Uh, I'm not going to tell you because it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing because it's, it's just, I'm an idiot. I literally go into Boots, which is a pharmacy in the UK, and I buy a fucking men's skincare pack and I open the instructions and I do it and then I use charcoal. That's it. That's it. I literally do nothing else. <laughs> I I like to talk. I used to I used to have a routine. I used to have a routine. Uh I don't have bad skin by the way. I didn't I know ne I've never had acne or anything. But like I used to have really bad skin. I used to have a proper one when I was like 18, 19, but I don't remember what it is. Not the Dove Min skincare rack. Shut up, dude. Shut up. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Hello, Wilbur. Urgent question. What's your favorite planet? Yes, Pluto counts. Pluto does not count, but probably it's got to be Saturn or Jupiter. Jupiter's cool. I like its big hexagon, but it's Saturn probably. Uh, fake friction thing in the five dollars. Hi, loving the stream. I've been trying to get your type of hair for a while. I don't know what to tell my hairdresser. Can you tell me what to do for my hair? Yes, I can. Disconnect the hairline on the sides. Let the fringe come out quite a lot on the top and a couple inches around the sides and the back. Basically, what you're what you're looking for is like a, a fucking fade, but without the fade, <laughs> and like, yeah, pretty much. You want it, but disconnecting the hairline here is very important. That's what my hair. Well, that's what my hairdresser didn't do this time. So now, if I push my hair to the side, I get a big old slappy forehead coming through. You see, so. But what I normally do is that you, I've got to have the hairline disconnected here, so it's like longer here and longer here and then long here. So it's almost like a, and then I just swish. I don't know. Have a big forehead helps too. Uh, Wellex Pato, I think there's seven dollar fifty nine. Hey Will, but can you say hi to Will, Ella, and Junaid, please? Hello to you three. Uh, Core, thank you for the two dollars. Go Tommy in it and Lamanberg Kings. Okay. Hi Will, I'm nineteen and thinking of learning to play on a string instrument. I remember you saying once you started out quite late. Any tips? Yeah, I started playing when I was twenty. I don't know if that's late. I, there is no such thing as late, is there? I mean, I just got one when I was 20 and now it's kind of like half my job um yeah just fucking get one do you it's, it helps to like songs that your instrument is played in and then pick up your instrument pick a song you like and then learn the song by going onto a website that gives you that you know I'm learning piano next how is that I've never played piano and for the first time I'm gonna grab a piano at age 24 I'll have, I'll, I'll grab a piano. I don't know. I don't think it's old. I don't think it's late. There's no such thing, you know? Fucking, um, Harrison Ford fucking started acting when he was like 30, didn't he? I believe it was something, something late like that. It might not have been Harrison Ford. Uh, Caitlin, thank you for your $11.71. Your music and streams really helped me through my exams this year. Thank you so much. No problem. Meat Moth with the $50. Yo, Willie G. Thank you so much for being an inspiration, being there for me when nobody else was. I love your music and you mean so much to me. It'd be really cool if you could play Losing Face for me because it helped me through so much. Tell you what, I'll play Saline Solution. Teach everyone how to play Saline Solution. And I'll give Losing... I don't think I've ever played Losing Face live. It's one of my least favorite of like my songs, but I can give it a go. I can give it a go. It's not my least favorite of my songs. I have loads of songs I hate more. Oh, I've got something in my hair. Everyone's going to shout at me. There we go. Oh, thank you all so much. Why is everyone shouting a meagle? I'm not going on a meagle on live stream. Holy shit. That would, <laughs> that would just be dick central. That would be, I, I, I'm, I'm not intending to turn my Twitch into dick central. Everyone's saying yes to losing face. All right. Yeah, we got, we got one dick already. <laughs> 
<laughs> what's your songwriting recording process like? And what's your favorite instrument to write songs with? All my songs are written on acoustic guitar. Like off the off the bat. I write everything on acoustic guitar first. And then everything else comes later. And my recording pre you're literally I'm literally sat where I record, so it's just I just jam it all in. Okay, the reason I have such an interesting guitar sound though is because I record stereo guitar. So I record left ear mic, right ear electroacoustic line in. So I get this weird kind of kind of very very like rich big sound. I don't know. I'm probably boring the shit out of you. I'm sorry. I literally only donated because you said Pluto isn't a planet and it very much is. There was no definition of a planet until 2006 and they purposefully made it to exclude Pluto by saying the distance of the sun matters. Doesn't make sense. Justice for Pluto. You're wrong. If Pluto's a planet, you've suddenly made about 50 items in the Kuiper Belt planets. Fuck you. Decide where you draw the line. Do you want there to be a thousand planets or do you want there to be eight? It's your fucking choice. Sit down. Shut up. <laughs> I will die on this hill. Fuck Pluto. Uh, Pink Charpy, then me the twenty dollars. Last one because I got to go to work. But enjoy the rest of your stream. I'm gonna go and try and avoid fighting customers who ask stupid questions who complain about being cashless. Still, yay. Good luck. Uh, Day Neek, thank you for the ten dollars. Hey, well, but I don't know if this is a weird question, but how do you come up with such compelling characters? Also, maybe a D and D podcast or something with other creators. If I remember correctly, you're a DM. Would be really popular to see. Uh, also, Cheedon, thank you for the five gifted subs. Right, I love characters a lot. I watched Rumi's video uh, where he talks about where he watches my new song and. Oh, at the beginning, the guy, the guy thought I was serious. He thought I was genuine. I love Rumi. I've, I've, always, I've known him for a long time. Or not known him, but I've watched him for a long time. And um, <laughs> he thought when he listened to I'm in love with an e-girl, he was like, he was like, isn't it strange how like Wilbur, w Wilbur actually thinks all this stuff. And I was like, it's not true. I'm not a fucking, I'm not a fucking, can't say this word on Twitch anymore, but I'm not one of those. Even though it's in the song. Can't say it. Yeah. Um, I'm not one of those. I'm not a... Can I say... Can I say involuntary celibate? Yeah, I'm not an involuntary celibate, right? I, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a character I'm playing, right? So the issue is, right, is that Rumi then watched it and then he was like, Oh dear, this Wilbur character. This Wilbur character. He's... He's, he's a bad guy. And I was like... Oh, and he got to the end. He figured out it was ironic at the end. But too little, too late. Too little, too late, dude. Shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. Oh, no, 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 no. If we go... Okay, so, so my character's not a shrimp, right? Shrimp... Shrimps are... Are inherently, like... As, as people, shrimps are, like, not... Necessarily aggressive, right? But the image of the... Of the Intel Core processor... <laughs> Is that they, they they present themselves almost toxically towards women? That's the that's the character. The um the Intel Core processors tend to be. And, and as you so what? How do I write good characters? I don't know. I just like to do it. I I don't think they're all necessarily that good. They're quite shallow. I just want to make characters that people l listen to and go ha ha ha. That's all I want. Uh, yeah, and would, would I do a D&D &D podcast? I'd love to. I have some friends that are doing a D&D &D podcast who are just starting soon. Uh, I can't say who, because I don't know if it's been announced yet, but they've been they've been working on it really hard, and um, they've been working on it for months, and I feel like it would, and because they, we share an audience, quite a lot of the people involved in it, I would feel really shitty if I just suddenly started up my D&D &D podcast when they're getting theirs ready. Because <laughs> especially because one of the people involved, I'd really want in my D and D podcast. So it would be, uh, I, I would, I really want to start a D and D podcast, and I've got all the material ready. I've been DMing for longer than I've been playing guitar, and I've been really into it. So I would want to start later. You know, I would want to start now. Uh, yeah. Angel Baby, thank you for the $10. You're telling me you spent... I just spent five grueling days learning how to play all your songs on the guitar by myself, and now you're just offering to teach Saline Solution live? I am. Sorry. Can we do that now? Let's do that now. Saline Solution. Glasses time. Oh, I can see! <laughs> I put the glasses on because then people can't clickbait me. It's funny. Do you know, when I wear thumbnail... When I wear glasses in my thumbnail, I look like I get so much less clicks than without which is really interesting to me because this is how i look most of the time i take my glasses off to go on the computer 
But um, so I put them on so no one can clickbait me with Wilbur Sir teaches Sally the solution. What? I'm kidding. You can do that. I'm not going to upload this. So it's all yours. All right. So you want to tune the top two. You want to have it in standard, except for these low strings. You want to C and G. It, you want it to be so low that on camera it wobbles. <laughs> you see that? Uh, you want to tune them really low. Make sure once you've tuned them low, this is what the guy in the video didn't say. Once you put it on capo 5, I want you to adjust it again. Because it's always slightly out. It should sound like this. Alright? Lovely sound. I fucking love it. I, I I came up with this tuning myself, right, when I was when I was starting to learn. And this was like my tuning I love the most. So I came I like I fuck it. I have so many songs written in this tuning. Hold on, I wanna do that one. Hold on. It's such a cool tuning, dude. I, I cannot stand by that this this tuning is brilliant. Someone said they only have an electric guitar. It, it works on electric too. I play it on Baby Blue all the time. Here's Baby Blue. Oh, you can probably see her over there. Uh, I play it on Baby Blue all the time. Uh, and trust me, it's 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 a good tuning. And I thought, I, I came up with it, right? And then I found out that it's already used by like loads of bands. So I thought I was really smart. Anyway, saline solution. What you want is you want it. So how I'm going to be describing the chord shapes is I will be counting numbers down from the top of the guitar, right? So for instance, this shape is zero, two, two, zero, zero, right? You never play the high E in any of these songs, right? And ironically, zero, two, two, zero, zero is also the first chord of the song. Is it too much echo, chat? I thought you'd like the echo. Is this too much? Should I turn it down? Hold on. Is that better? There we go. Hold on, let's listen. Should I turn it down? Hold on. Is that better? There we go. Hold on, let's listen. Should yeah, it's all right. You get over it. Get over it, chat. <laughs> okay. So your first one is going to be this. Zero two two zero zero, right? And then you're gonna follow it up with a nice four four zero zero. I like that chord a lot. And then two two, you slide it just up to two. Congratulations, you can now play the intro. This is all the verses, right? And then for the tapping, it is you want to go strum strum. Strum, strum, and then hap slam your fist in the center of the sound hole. If you're on acoustic, make sure to slam it on the center of the sound hole. If you're on electric, you want to hit one of the bottom preamps, right? Well, pick up, sorry. Preamp. <laughs> so, that. And then you want to play that fourth, that fourth fret one. And then bring your ring finger down onto the B string on the fifth fret of the B string, that note. So you want to go, and then you want to go. So on the 12th fret where these two dots are, on the lowest string and the 5th string, like that. You can probably figure that out through sound, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but basically how the important thing is your pull-offs need to, need to pull. You can't just release, otherwise it sounds like this. Oh, it sounds like this, sorry. You need to pull it, like... Like that, to get that full sound. Why am I out of breath? <sighs> anyway. Uh, oh yeah, and then the bridge is fifth fret. So X5005. Zero, zero, to two, uh, to three, to two. 
you've now you now know the whole song now let me play it very quickly for you and then we'll go back to talking ladies and gentlemen i hope you're all having a wonderful evening this is saline solution one two three Dramatic. I'm just pragmatic beyond any reasoning For thinking I've got fucking rabies or something I think I'm dying this time That's hammer on on the fifth I think I'm dying this time Lost my mind. Oh, that was that key. Blurring the facts and the fiction. Wait, I, I think I've lost my mind. Blurring the facts and the fiction while simultaneously fixing myself up with a girl named Panadol. Bite the tablet elixir, disintegrate mounts a mixer. I think I've lost my mind. Lost my mind. And then we go into the bridge. If I could just break one more night, maybe I could wait. Secluded in hatred, avoid the plans friends are making. I think I found my choice. Fucking some of that. Six to the game plans are making. I think I found my voice. I'm a leech stuck in blood bags. Taste defeat, it's a sandbag. Say, lean solution. Say, lean solution. Oh, your saline solution, saline solution to all your problems. <laughs> there you go, that's saline solution. I hope that was easy to understand. Uh, Miko says with the three dollars, thank you for saying you teach a song live. I went, fuck yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you went fuck yeah. I went fuck yeah whenever I see how much you, you listen to my music. That makes me fuck yeah. I'm always on the fuck yeah train, dude. That's how I am. Okay, Nova, thank you for the $5. Hey, Wilbur, just post some fan art on Twitter for you. Your streams have helped me through my finals, which I passed. Thank you. No, oh, awesome. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. My Twitter is not plugging you. I'm sorry, but thank you. I will check it out. Uh, I will I will install Twitter just to check it out. And thank you for the $10. Wilbur, your law quote was questioned the other day. Sleepy Twitter is crying. Tell Techno you were canonically twins and that is, it's not factually incorrect. He hates us. Love you. Uh, if Techno doesn't want to be fucking family dynamic, I don't mind. Uh, I mentioned it to him and he just said he didn't have a problem with it. I think that was, or it might have been Tommy. I, th I, ta I talked, because I know me and Phil were always on the same page, but I, d I did mention to one of them Techno or Tommy and one of them said it was fine. I think it was Techno because I was farming up to make my my crossbow and I mentioned it to him and he said Yeah, I don't care. Meh. You know the Techno Blade thing? <laughs> so I think he's fine with it. I don't know what he said, but Yeah, I think he's fine with it. Chill out chat, alright? 
Uh, Delaney with the 10 loss. I'm donating just to be angry at you. Not moisturizing and still having perfect skin. I do moisturize. That's what's in my skincare pack. My, my Dove Men skincare pack. <laughs> I moisturize. Jesus. My skin is all right, though, normally. Yeah. I'm just, I just have naturally greasy skin, so I have to fight it. Otherwise, I will go spotty. Um, Rian, thank you for the $10. Hello, Wilbur. Will you ever re-record a properly released screensaver? I will probably re-record a lot of songs next year. The Nice Guy Ballad, man. That's, that's the song I really want to re-record. Because I think that could go... That's the, I still listen to it, and I'm like, damn, that's a good song. Like That could fit in with my most recent stuff. Just some lyric changes, but... Just some lyric changes, but aside from that. Eve Street throwing the ten dollars. Hey, I'm currently a music music major in college. Uni for you. I was wondering what mic you used to record your music. This one. Road NTJ something? Road NTJ something. I don't know. NT one hundred. It's a it's the fucking one everyone has. <laughs> it's this. I, rec I use that. Uh, and then I have a I have a little shitty boy here. I have this motherfucker, this MPK mini. Which is good. Uh, aside from the latency issue with the pads, the, the keys are fine. It's it's good for every the fucking uh uh fucking uh that was first came up with on here. That was on here that that was come up with. So yeah, I I like the APK. Um and I everything else is sampled so I use sample drums I use literally the sample drums off Ableton <laughs> I don't I, I anyone can do what I do literally you just as it's like I'm so lucky to have you guys behind me because nothing I'm doing is very special so like if you guys weren't behind me I wouldn't have anything so thank you all so much uh, Brooklyn's Medina thank you for the $5 hello Wilbur happy holidays can you say Merry Christmas Kate in your most creative way possible Feliz Navidad, Kate. <laughs> I am Spanish now. Not Elizabeth, thank you for the $5. Hey, I was wondering what the storyline would have been if POC 2020 would have won and would have been a tenant in the majority. Should I read it? What the story would have been if POG 2020 had won? Let's find out. Uh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Right, here is... Here is the script for... Okay, so basically the way the Dream SMP was, we don't do scripts, we do like treatments. Well, I, I used to write treatments. I don't know what they do now because I, I don't write it. But when I did it, what I do is I'd write treatments with the anticipation that people would, would drive off in random directions and fucking, you know, send everything off randomly and then we'd have to change everything, right? So the treatment I wrote was... The treatment for Schlapp winning, which is what happened, is Quackity and Schlapp become leaders of Lamanberg. Uh, Schlapp instantly banishes Tommy and Wilbur from Lamanberg. Wilbur, Tommy, and Tubbo leave to make a cottage in the woods and start a simpler life. This was before Tubbo was indicted as the as a spy, you know. Uh, Quackity tears down the walls of Lamanberg, starts an era of peace and unity. Uh, Tubbo works in the borders to make it pretty and stuff. Uh, Schlapp fucks around with Tubbo's work, making Tubbo upset. Tommy, furious at this, re-equips his Lamanberg uniform, marches to the capital, demanding the president steps down. It's weird, this went, it went off a completely different direction here. Uh, but here was the one for if Pog... Here is the one that would have happened if Pog had won. Uh, Wilbur becomes president by a landslide. Tommy and Wilbur's first act is to imprison Schlapp for his crimes on voter fraud. Quackity wishes to join Lamanberg, so Wilbur and Tommy order him to build a second layer of the wall to ensure no Americans can get in. Schlack convinces Quackity to leave a fault in the wall to be exploited at a later date with a... Qu I put a question mark in there. A festival is held to celebrate Wilbur's inauguration. The festival is attacked by the Dream Team or others. Lamanberg is besieged by war once more. The attackers demand Wilbur step down. And also the people of Lamanberg demand Wilbur step down for failing to, to keep the peace in Lamanberg's walls. Wilbur steps down in a heartfelt moment, making Tommy the president. And end of, end of treatment. That was the original. That was what would happen if Pog would have won. There you go. A view behind the curtain. I will say though, chat. I'm not gonna- I, I, I refuse to say any more behind the scenes Dream SMP stuff. Because I do feel like it's like a magician never reveals his secrets, you know? 
And it's like, I, I feel like it does ruin it. I'll tell you that, because that's a fun little bit of trivia. But yeah, I won't be telling you anything else until like we finish, you know? Because uh, it's still happening, it's still going on. And there's so much cool stuff being written, I assume. I mean, it is cool so far, so I assume there's more cool stuff. Jen Su, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. So yeah, that's what's happening. Did you get a new camera, says Gold? Yeah, I've had this for a little while now, Gold. It's uh, my nice little, woo, look at this, ready? Go on. Go on. I'm blurry. Blurber. Blurber. <laughs> I think it recognizes faces. It used to do it on smiles. So if I, if I, it only would used to happen if I smiled, so I went, that it would like focus on me. Um, cool. Uh, Techno denied the existence of the SBI family canon and the entire two sleepy Twitter went dark. But we know we can rely on you and Filza. I think, I, I, Ella, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I think. Me and Techno, t I mean, obviously, if he's changed his mind, you fuckers better respect that. But, like, I remember he fucking... He did... He fucking said it was cool. He said it was fine, the SBI family dynamic. I'm 100% sure. Because I don't think it was Tommy. Tommy Tommy doesn't give a shit. Tommy just, just doesn't want to act it. Tommy just won't RP it. That's so strange. That's so strange that he said that. You respect it, though. Uh, Skyrat, thank you for $7. Hey, I started playing piano when I was five and I'm a generally quick learner. That helps, but I told myself I have to play I'm in love with an eagle and your new boyfriend is pretty pog. Your streams helped me a lot. Thank you, dude. Spoof. Hey, Wilbur, gotta ask, is there any secret useless talent you like being able to whistle loudly or wiggle your ears? I can sneeze on command, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, thank you for the $5. Axfoot. What's an instrument you like to learn? Piano. I just said that. Uh, Samar, I think, with the five dollars. Hi, you're the most attractive man I've ever seen. No hetero. What about if I read this one like this? You're the most attractive. <laughs> you're the most attractive man I've ever seen. Also, I bet you five dollars you can't pronounce my name right. Samara. Still attractive, Samara. You tell me. <laughs> uh, Hods, thank you for the four dollars. I feel so liberated, chat. Since having my forehead on show, I feel so liberated. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like I don't have to hide it. I can just fucking, hey, everyone, you know? It feels good. I feel fucking good. It feels pog. I recommend it. Uh, Efren Jr. Thank you for the $5. Hi, Wilbert. Love your laugh. Can you say hi to my friend Sebastian? Hi, Sebastian. Hi. Oh! I've had the fucking ghost effect on this whole time. I'm sorry. No one told me. No one told me. Rick Clark, thank you for the $6.70. Hi, thank you for being a great support for me. I really appreciate it. I hope you're keeping well. I am. You too, man. Need for life, thank you for the $10. Hi, I'm 18 and tomorrow I start production on my first ever short film that I wrote and I'm directing. Your music and students have motivated me a lot recently to do so. And your work ethic is very inspiring. And as a writer, I look up to you a lot. Thanks for that. Thank you, Need for Light. Yeah, that's good. That's a good reason to make a short film. I, I wrote and directed a short film because I, I, I had a crush on a girl who I wanted to talk to more. So I made an entire film. Uh, just to get her, just to get her to <laughs> spend time with me. <laughs> oh, this makes me sound creepy as hell. I should probably explain. When I was 17, uh, there was a girl I really, really liked uh, in my history class. And I was kind of a bad boy <laughs> in history. <laughs> in history, I was the bad boy, right? Not in the way that I was like, you know, went smoking and shit. I was like, I was like the soft boy bad boy i would like show up late and would always be like held after class because i wasn't listening and shit which is funny because i was like <laughs> i was i was really good at history <laughs> but um in my history class there was this girl who sat next to me and um i was i sort of madly fell in love with her like from afar where before I sat next to her. I like, cause there's seating plans in the UK. I don't know if you have it in the US, but we have seating plans where you have to sit in like an allocated chair. And I was like sat other end of the room on my own because I was too fucking disruptive. They sat me on my own away from everyone. So I wouldn't disrupt them, right? And there was this girl across the class and like my chair pointed perfectly in her direction. So I had basically this excuse to just, while I was doing my work, just kind of glance up and just sort of just, oh, she, oh, I thought she was so gorgeous, man. I was madly in love with her from like across the fucking room. I never said a word to her. I never fucking made her uncomfortable or, or spoke to her. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had the confidence anyway, don't worry. But like, it wasn't like a creepy thing. It was just, I was just, I just decided she was my, I wanted her. I want that one. I, I want her to be my girlfriend, please. You know, like I just sort of chose her. And um, over a bit of time, they wanted us to, uh, 
they wanted us to re they readjusted this this um seating like pattern that everyone was sat in and i was late to class again and i showed up 20 minutes late and walked in at which point my teacher was like right well you're late you haven't you've, you've missed the sleep you've missed the seating plan we've changed up the seating plan you've missed it you've got to come to the front and get the seating plan to see where you're sat next to next and I was, I was like, oh, fuck. Okay, well, at least I'm not sat on my own anymore. I walk up and I look on the fucking sheet and I run my finger along and I'm sat right next to her in, on like this table of like three of us, right? It was me, her, and someone else. And I am sat next to her and I go and sit next to her. And every opportunity I have, I'm fucking starting conversation. I'm just like, the, while the teacher's talking, I'm just like, uh, so what are you into? <laughs> just like i am i am desperately trying to find some kind of conversation point i get told off and told to shut the fuck up by the teacher so many times <laughs> and i'm just trying to start this conversation with her and um in case you're wondering by the way this is this is a, a girl i sing about a lot in my in my album in my your city gave me asthma she's the subject of a few of the songs uh and i i i sort of become quite infatuated with this girl and she tells me she's really into acting. That's something I can tell. And what she keeps telling me, oh, I want to say as well, one time, uh, I remember very clearly, uh, I used to sort of to be like quite flirty. I used to like draw pictures in her book while she wasn't looking, like her workbook. I used to like doodle in the corner, like little pictures of stuff. I'm, I'm good at drawing dogs and rabbits and nothing else. So I would just draw dogs and rabbits in her, the corner of her book. And uh, one time when I was revising, studying through my history book, I saw a heart in the corner of my book man's was man's was like what i was i i <laughs> i was like holy shit i was like holy shit was that her i don't know to this day if it was her but anyway uh i was freaking out but anyway uh she uh, after class one day i went to her and i said hi so um uh i don't know if you know i'm a bit of a filmmaker uh i i was like i'm uh you know i'm making a uh, i'm making a short film it's a romance film uh, I'm looking for an actress to be in it. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna go into this contest for, um, uh, you know, for the BBC. It was like a BBC short film contest. I was wondering if you wanna, um, you know, if you wanna be in my short film. And, uh, she said, yeah, okay. She was, like, really chill about it. Like, yeah, okay. And I was like, oh, cool. She was like, yeah, send me the script tonight. And I was like, yep. And I ran home because I had not written a script. <laughs> So I ran home and in the span of about, uh, about seven hours, I stayed up all night and I wrote a script for a short film. <laughs> and I wrote the entire thing from scratch. <laughs> and I came into school the next day. Oh, Ella, thank you for the 10. I came into school the next day and I gave her the script. I handed it to her and I was like, I was like, this is, this is the script for, for my film. Uh, I, I'm a big fan. I, you know, I, I spent so long in this, and she was like, "Oh, cool!" And she looked through it. She was like, "Right, okay. So who's the? So there's two characters." She was like, "So what? Do you know uh, who's the other guy in it?" And I was like, "Oh, fuck!" And so I was like, I like went to all my friends. I was like, "Can one of you pretend to be an actor, please? Can one of you like be in my film?" And I went out to the recording session. I brought fucking Jack from Soot House along. And I fuck it, and he did the sound. He was like the boom operator. <laughs> there's pictures of us. <laughs> And we mean uh, Jack was just brilliant. Jack was always there for me and doing stuff like that. He was wonderful. And um, and like we did this entire film. And I remember towards the end of the film, uh, sh uh, I was basically decided right. We're getting to the point where I need to ask her if she wants to like have a drink or something, you know. So I say to her, I'm like, I'm like, hey, um, by the way, after after this, do you wanna like um, do you wanna go out and get something to eat, you know, in town? And she goes yeah i'd love to and i'm like yes. she goes yeah i'd love to let i'll text my boyfriend and ask chat this is what my brain said my brain my brain went like that and i uh <laughs> i went okay sure oh yep yeah, that's fine that's absolutely fine I was, I was so sad. I was so miserable that I didn't check. And I remember, I remember, because we had like three more days of shooting. And I remember so clearly the days afterwards, 
she would be like i'd see her on her phone and i'd like i'd like catch a glimpse of the screen and it would just be like fucking tons of hearts and like little kisses at the end of like like fucking like like she does spam the heart emoji after every text with him and i was like oh it hurts my my chest hurts i was oh it's sad little it's jared it's jared <laughs> it was not jared don't worry chat it had a happy ending it had a happy ending chat and then a sad ending <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I ended up dating her for two years, so it's it's not it will everything was not lost. But um Yeah, that's what most of my songs on Your City Gave Me Asthma are about that girl. And yeah, that's yeah, so that that so yeah, I so you're writing a short film because you're creative and, and cool. I wrote it so that I could get close to a girl I had a crush on in my history class. <laughs> It was also, for, I would also like to add, it was for my college as well. I ended up submitting that work from like a college assignment. So it wasn't all lost. It wasn't all like, when she told me she had a boyfriend, it wasn't like the end of the world, you know? We need to see the film. I only have a trailer left of it. And I'm not going to show you the trailer because I don't, it feels a bit like, I don't want to show you the faces of the people involved, you know, chat. It's like a privacy, not privacy, but it's like, you know, I don't think they'd appreciate it, you know? It's not anywhere publicly either, so you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to watch it. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's that's Wilbur's cute story of the day. Hey Wilbur, mother here. What's your favorite monster flavor? I'll donate more money if I approve. There's flavors. I thought it was just the silver one and the black one. What? I didn't know there were more flavors. <laughs> Uh, Katie, Christine, thank you for the $20. I'm currently at work. Just want to stop by and say, hello, have a good day. Get back to work. Get back to work, Katie. <laughs> I'm so far behind, by the way, on donations. If you want to, I'd stop donating if you want to be read out, by the way, because I'm so far behind on it now. I will not catch your, I will not catch your message. I'm sorry. So I'm very sorry, but thank you all for the lovely, uh, thank you all for the lovely messages. How are you, by the way, chat? Come on. Don't give him more caffeine. I don't need more caffeine. You are 100% right. You're 100% right. Man, you are missing out on monsters. I don't know if I am. Is it just an American thing to have, like, lots of monster flavors? Is that, like, an American thing? Am I going crazy? To have just, like, loads of monster flavors? We just have, like, the black one and the silver one. <laughs> Mango or purple one? Wilbur, it's nearly 2am, bro. I know. I know it's almost 2pm. Honestly, after I finish streaming, I'm normally really awake. So I'm hoping that if I, you know, keep, you know, if I keep streaming, then I'll finish and just fall instantly asleep. You know? Is that not what we want? Is that not a thing? Uh, what other things should I read out? Anyone got any questions? Let's do a and a Hold on. Give me chat. Give me some questions. Can we get a, can we get a slower slow mode just for a little bit? Actually, can we go sub only mode? Hold on. I'll, I'll pop it in sub only mode quickly. Right, we'll do a, um, oh, how do I do sub-only mode? It's like a button in it. There we go, sub-only mode. Right, uh, let's do a and a Chat, give me some questions. Yo, subs, how you doing, subs? Hey, man. How you all doing, subs? Whee, it's the sub gang. Let me put on my glasses so I can read you, and then we'll play Losing Face after I've read out some questions. How you doing, subs? Hey, vibe night, sub time. Hey, sub time. Can we get some sub times? What's popping? What's popping? You've imprisoned us, says someone with their redeeming their subscriber chat. Wilbur, how do you feel about... What was that? Wilbur, how do you feel about all the non-binary people and trans people that get gender envy from you? I'm not... I don't really know what gender envy is. What is that? Like, you, you're jealous of my gender? I, I mean, I, I, it doesn't make me feel good because I don't want you to be jealous. I want you to, I want you to have what you want, you know? If you want to be uh, if you want to identify as a girl or a boy, I want you to be able to do that. And I don't think I don't think being anything like me is going to change your ability, you know. I just hope that you can be in a place where you're accepted for whatever gender you choose and if that, and I hope that doesn't I hope that you don't have to be like me in order to get it, you know. But yeah, I'm, I have no problem with it. What do you do to get through the day? I I don't know. <laughs> GCS, we thank you for the ten gift of subs. I don't know what I do to get through the day. I just kind of man's just man's just fucking trying. <laughs> any any tryers in the chat? Uh. 
Uh, you're all doing so well, and so am I. We're all doing well. Uh, tips for dealing with anxiety. Uh, just remember that... <sighs> this is coming from someone who has had anxiety and then is an anxious guy. It's It's like... When you have realized it's anxiety, that's the first step to it going away. So... When you're sat there going, oh fuck, I'm so anxious. Oh shit, I'm so anxious. Remember that the fact that you've gotten to that point in your thinking means that you are already fighting half the battle. It's almost, you know, you're almost there. And you, you can't do much else. You gotta let your brain get through it until then, you know, you gotta ride it out. Which makes me sound like a fucking boomer being like, it's just in your brain. It's not real. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Favorite color? I like, I like that, I like that color there. You see that blue? That's my favorite color. Everything's still going so fast. There's so many subs, dude. Dude, you guys are so fucking lovely. There's so many of you, dude. How did you go about learning guitar? I just got one when I was 20 and just whapped it out. Therapy, yeah, therapy's good if you can afford it. Unfortunately, not everyone's in that privileged position though, so hang in there, I'm, I'm thinking of you. Talk about anteaters, no. Go watch Phil's video, all of you. If you haven't seen Phil's new video, it's it's original content of me talking about anteaters. If you haven't seen that, you'll probably want to watch that. It's me and Tommy in it, talking about how much we hate anteaters, because we do. We do hate them. Piano is good. I can't wait to get one. I can't. I want to get a proper one, like a proper stand-up wooden one, you know, with a little with lily ivories, you know? Well, not actual ivory. Lakey, thank you the five. Yeah, not actual ivory, but you know, like the proper ones, not a keyboard. Everything's so quick. I'm just going to pause it and read what's ever on there. Uh, why did you use an alias instead of your real name? Because I... Um, I don't know. I was... I was... I was Will Soothouse. <laughs> at the beginning. And then I changed it to Wilbur Soothouse. And then I changed it to Wilbur Soot. Because Soothouse was too long. Yeah. I don't know. I, I have no clue. I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. It's probably something I should have remembered. <laughs> but yeah, I just did. I just wanted it like that. Uh, what job did you want to do when you were younger? I wanted to be a film director when I was younger. I wanted to make movies. <laughs> Which I kind of do. Wilbur, what do you say to your barb when you get your hair cut? Disconnect the fringe. Disconnect the hairline. Number two on the top, I think. Oh, my fucking numbers and shit. Just, I, I don't know. I said it a long time ago. I don't remember what it is. Sorry. Can you do a metal song? No, I don't like metal music, sadly. Are you a religious boy? Um, no, not really. I I don't believe in God, or any God. Uh, I I I don't I don't have any religious convictions. Uh, however, I'm really interested in spirituality. I'm not a spiritual person at all. In fact, I'm pretty skeptic. <laughs> I I'm against a lot of ideas of religion it comes from when i was younger my uh, my family used to have this really weird ideas about like spiritualism like really weird ideas about spiritualism uh, to a point where i was like being told about my like dead family talking to me and shit it's a it's a story uh, it's for another time i shouldn't go into it now but um it made me very very skeptical and pes pessimistic about religion and religious beliefs so for instance um Astrology. I always go on about how I hate astrology. Because I do. Is that a raid? Get sub only mode off. Let's get that sub only mode off. Let the flood in. Let the flood in. Is it an unofficial raid or an official raid? What are we looking at? I haven't got the I haven't got the thing appearing, so nothing's come up. Unofficial quackity raid, is it? If it's not quackity, do you wanna come on call with me? We can have a little a little chin wag. Have a little chit chat if you're if you're watching. Just DM me. DM me on Discord. I've got it all open. We can chat. I love you, Big Q. I love you. I'd like to have that. I'd like to have a nice chill chat with you. If you're not too tired, of course. I'm not trying to pressure you. Uh, if it was a real raid. Anyway, yeah. So I I've had some. Re I hate astrology, dude. I I'm, I'm fucking no way Jose about astrology, dude. Uh, and about spiritualism and stuff. But I am very interested in it, and I agree with a lot of it. Uh, I, 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 I've listened to a lot of readings from like Buddhists, like, uh, I'm not going to go into it. I'm, I'm going to say something wrong and fuck it up. Religion's stretch is a touchy subject. Quackity sent us your way, but I don't think he actually raided. Oh, okay. Well, if he's here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to send him a smile. I'll just send him a smile and see what he says. 
Uh, any more questions, chat? Astrology. Oh, uh, no. This is no answer to questions about astrology. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. He hosted. Oh, Quackity. You lovely gentleman. You lovely gentleman. Uh, what got you into music? Music got me into music. Uh, I like music. I like listening to it. And so uh, I. That's what got me into music. Uh, what song is this in the background? This is Yotam Peril with Nice Snakes. He's a lovely guy. He, yeah, he's a, he's a good he's a good musician. He helped me out a lot. He taught me how to use Ableton, Yotam. So, uh, do you know where Czech is? Czechia? Yeah, of course. I've been there. I've been to Prague. <laughs> in fact, I just went to Prague. And I'm like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a ghost? No, ghosts aren't real. Uh, what's your favorite song right now? Hmm. I've been getting into sleeping at last a lot, but I think that's because of the season, you know. I don't think I, I don't, th I wouldn't call them my favorite song at the moment, you know. <laughs> Are you in the Christmas spirit? I am not. I haven't been in the Christmas spirit for quite a few years now. <laughs> yeah, I. No Christmas spirit for old Wilbur, I'm afraid. What's your favorite type of whale? J like a like a, like a whale is an orca, but my favorite like actual whale. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big sperm whale fan. Humpbacks are just good. Humpbacks are just good. They just, they're just good. Uh, ooh, oh god, everything's going past so quickly. Uh, what's your favorite video that you've made? My dating video. Woo! The Raj Chiller. That was, that was my favorite. Do you like the band The Strokes? Yeah, kind of. They were right. Uh. Wilbur, I see, I see ghosts, so shut your BS about them not being real. Okay. Uh, any advice for dealing with a Christmas party that you weren't invited to, but you're going because you are helping someone take the pot of soup to the party? What, you in a fucking, you in a fucking Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> um, any advice for dealing with a Christmas party, but you weren't invited, you're going because you're helping someone take their pot of soup to the party? You do that best delivery of soup you've ever done. You deliver that soup and you make them wish they'd invited you. Is that your bathroom in the back? Yeah. Or you want to watch me have a shower? <laughs> you actually just, that's how I get banned for a blurry penis. Uh, you should paint your nails, Will. I don't really want to. I'm not a big fan of painted nails or body modification, really. Uh, will you ever go on tour when it's safe? Yeah, I'd love to. You introducing Tommy to Mr. Brightside is hilarious to me. I know it's hilarious to me as well. He was fucking, he, he was, he said he didn't like it first. He'd never heard the killers. And I was like, here, listen to this. And he was like, what? He was like, what? He was like, I love this. And I showed him Mr. I showed him Mr. Brightside, leave the bourbon on the shelf, midnight show. Jenny was a friend of mine. And, and then I, I wanted to show him Andy, you're a star but I didn't think he'd like it. So I instead showed him, um, somebody told me, but then he came back to me the next day, like, Will, listen to this song. And he sent me, Andy, you're a star. And I was like, Tommy, I know it. It's a good song. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we on sub only mode still? Let's get, get off sub only mode, guys. I wanna, I wanna let in all the, all the new viewers who are here. Uh, yeah, turn off sub only mode. Oh, no, uh, mods, turn it back on if I'm wrong and I've been missing them saying horrible things and you find it easy to control. Uh, yeah, sorry mods. I just really want to chat with everyone. Uh, but if if they're being disruptive, then then turn it back on and ignore me. Uh, do you listen to Mother Mother? Yeah, I listened to one of their songs. <laughs> I listened to Hayloft. Uh, I tried their other songs and they didn't really vibe with me too well. I liked Hayloft uh, and I listened to their other songs and they're interesting. Uh, one of them sounded identical to No Scrubs by TLC. I don't remember which one that was. But yeah, that was, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm right. I liked Hayloft and that was it, really. Any ideas for merch? Yeah, I've got some, don't worry. Big, big things coming. Uh, do you listen to Lil Peep? No, I don't, sorry. Uh, ooh, what's that? Can you add a hydrate redeemable point thing? I don't drink water. Ever. <laughs> Eve Street, thank you for the five gifted subs. No, I just don't drink shit. I'm, uh, I'm constantly in a state of dehydration. So no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add a, a hydrate button. Fuck you. Will, drink water. No, what? No. 
How was your high school life? Dreadful. I had an all- You mean secondary school? Which is, I guess, high school? I hated high school, man. I hated secondary school. Yeah, I hated secondary school, man. College was fun. I had a lot of fun at college. College is like 18, 6, 16 to 18. Will the hydrate yourself? No, I won't. Uh, high school is your college. Oh, okay. High school was great. I loved high school. Yeah, I loved it. I hated secondary school, which I guess is middle school for you. Uh, favorite outfit to wear? Uh, it depends on the weather. I like to mix and match. I don't really wear the same outfit ever. Like right now I'm wearing my, my classic burgundy doom sweater, but I'm wearing corduroy with it, which is not, I mean, look, you can look for yourself. Not the best combination, uh, I'd say. Untucked as well. Untucked corduroy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I kind of mix and match stuff. Uh, I normally, I like to tuck and use layers. But, um, do, what's my favorite outfit? I guess I really like my, um, I really like the pool hall sweater Carson gave me. I'm a big fan of that. Are you a fan of the Wombats? And what's your favorite song, if so? Uh, I like Moving to New York. <laughs> That's my favorite. Grandpa outfit. It is a grandpa outfit. It is. All corduroy outfits are grandpa outfits. Too. <laughs> you are tall. Yes, you are right. Uh, not sure of your music preference, but I think you'd like some songs by Fight Like Apes. I've never heard of them. Do you have any fashion tips? Yeah, learn colors. <laughs> I used to wear black all the time because it's easy, uh, but now I wear colors, a lot of, a lot of bright colors, uh, which is fun. I, 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 I would recommend colors a lot. Right, we'll do three more questions. Three more questions. I'm going to play Losing Face and I'll send you away. Uh, favorite Minecraft block? Slime block. Woo! Slime block. We love slime blocks. Uh, songwriting tips. Uh, I always play a character, so I can't tell you. In my serious songs, though, they- I didn't even need to think. They just came. I just knew what I wanted to say. Don't be like George Lankala. Okay. Uh, uh, has your day been good? Yeah, it's been fun. I've just- I haven't really done anything. And last question. Favorite state in the US if you had to pick one? Probably California or Texas. Big fan. Uh, I haven't really checked out the Northeast, though. I would need to check out the Northeast. But yeah. Should we do losing face and then send you all my way, ba ba ba, all my way? For the one guy at the beginning who said that losing face meant a lot to him and that I've never played it and he wants me to play it, this is for you, random guy. I'm not a fan of losing face at all. So this will be this will be interesting for me. Ooh, echo, ghost bird. How do you play it? That's it. Fun fact, that's not me doing that. Everyone puts on Genius that that's me that does that. I, that's my, that's Joe. My mate Joe is the one going, ooh wee. First and foremost, don't let it be said, my dear. I was gonna wait for you. So this is not an act of spite. It's a visceral coming to. She wrote an album. Something that I can't do But what I can do is spit the truth And it all leads back to you Secondly, I know I haven't written much You know the way I can be But tonight I'm fucking drunk So it's all gonna be about me Take a seat, pull up a chair Give me one beat to fill my glass Lost a piece of me in you But you've lost all your parts It 
Does he better than me? Has he seen more to this life? Can he smoke more? Can he fuck more? Are you good enough to be his wife? Can he break me? Can he break you? Oh, I don't know what I'm to do. Yes, I don't know what I'll fucking do. I've seen our cafe, I've clocked our plans. Oh, what could it be if you didn't go and fall in love? And ruin everything I've seen him, I've been him I've felt the same way But now I break against the dirt Along with our cafe Is he better than me? Have he seen more to this life? Can he smoke more? Can he fuck more? <laughs> Are you good enough to be his wife? Can he break me? Can he break you? Ugh. Well, I don't know what I'm to do Yes, I don't know what I'll fucking do coming to my vibe stream next stream i promise i'll have a plot because this one has been just a mess you're all wonderful you're all wonderful i have been watching moist critical today all day i've spent pretty much my entire fucking day watching him uh with david so i feel like it's only only fair to him that i send him a raid uh so go and send him your love tell him wilbur's been watching your content all day don't actually tell him that just send him my love and I will see you all very soon and we'll 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 do we'll do something with plot. We'll do like we'll do like a Minecraft stream or something. I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of vibe streams recently and I like to do stuff with with passion, you know? So I want to do something that has a a background to it, you know? So anyway, uh enjoy watching uh Critical. I think he's what's he doing? Uh he is YouTube night. So we're going to watch YouTube with him. So um I'll be there with you. So go and give him your love. All right. See you there. Goodbye.